winning belts nowadays is not the grind that people claim it to be. There's only specific fighters that get that. Majority don't. It's an opportunity, not a grind. Let's talk. Straighter, yep. not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard, click the link if you dare to, bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, in this day and age, um, you have champions who are champions. And hadn't fought anybody. In this day and age, you have fighters who are ranked in the top five and haven't fought anybody. In this day and age, you have fighters who have become the mandatory to a champion. And they were number 10. And they are fighting number 14 or 15. And it's for a mandatory position to fight the champion in this day and age. So I have a I have a problem with a lot of the champions at this particular moment. I have a I have a problem with them, um, and majority of them are are champions that we don't fuck with anyway, or we don't follow anyway. But it, it what it what it is is the that the promoters, the the the, the machine behind the fighter, um, is getting these guys with eight nine fights. You haven't fought anybody in those eight, nine fights. And if you did fight someone, they are a fucking nobody. They used to be somebody. They're a professional, but they're old. They're they're past what it is. They they used to be something. And you fought them. They're no longer ranked, but you fought them. And now all of a sudden you get to number one or number five or number four. You jump all these people who are, are ahead of you and they didn't lose. You jump all these people and now here you are in line for a title shot. And then you have the audacity to, after you get to that position, to say, I ain't stepping aside. I ain't stepping aside. I, I, I'm not stepping aside. What I'm not going to do is I'm not, I'm not, nope, nope. I'm not allowing this champion to fight the other champion to unify so I can be the mandatory for a unified champion. No, I deserve my shot. I fought for my shot. I want my title. I want my title shot. Like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit, dog, if you don't get the fuck out of here, bro, I, I'm, I'm like, bro. I sit back and I look at these fucking whack ass fighters. I look at these fucking whack ass, these whack ass, um, uh, these people that are. Oh, I'm about to I'm fight for a belt. Listen, bro, Errol Spence is a champion. Terence Crawford is a champion. Uh, George Cambosis is a champion. Devin Haney, champion. Monster Inui, champion. Arthur Betterbeev, champion. Uh, Usyk. Champion Estrada, champion Man, Gary Russell, champion Shakur Stevenson, champion. Really don't really Josh Taylor, champion. I really don't really care about the rest. Really don't, bro. And 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 the people that are getting in positions to fight them, the fighters, the opponents that are getting in position to fight them. Ugas is a champion. 
How is this guy, Stannis Baratheon, getting in a position to fight Ugas? How is this? You beat no one. You beat no one, but yet you're holding up a unification with Errol Spence and your Dennis Ugas. Stannis Baratheon has beat no one. Literally, you beat no one. You, you, nothing. I don't care if you're 9 0, 10 0, 19. I don't care. You've beaten no one. You went from unranked to number one by beating no one. Why? Because of the opportunity. You have the complexion for the protection, and the opportunity is arrived for you. Vasil Lomachenko, how the fuck you got to becoming a champion right away after losing a title? Why? Because you have the complexion for the protection and you have the backing. You didn't fight for that position. You didn't fight to uh, to uh, fight Orlando Salido in your second fucking professional fight. You guys realize that if Lomachenko's name was not Lomachenko and he fought and, and Orlando Salido, the champion, was fighting a guy that was 2-0. Really? And you're telling me that the motherfucking sanctioning bodies, they would sanction it? They would sanction a champion to fight a fighter who's 2-0? Or at the time, it wasn't even 2-0. It was 1-0. What sanctioning body? Which one is sanctioning a champion to fight a 1-0 fighter? You have no idea what the status of this man is. How are you 1-0 ranked in the top 10? How are you 1-0 ranked in the top 15? You're one and oh. How'd you get there? But don't nobody want to talk about that though. But they do say, oh man, Vasil Lomachenko, man, he's the fastest three division champion. He's the fastest champion in three weight classes. Little Vasil Lomachenko. Why? Because of the people backing him, the possibility, the path. That's why. If other fighters had the, the path, had the possibilities that Lomachenko had, then who knows where they would be at? What if Terrence Crawford got an opportunity to fight for a belt in his second title? Are y'all telling me that Terrence Bud Crawford wasn't ready when he first started fighting? If Terrence Bud Crawford got an opportunity to fight for a, for a title at 130 in his second fight, I believe he would have won. If Terrence Bud Crawford would have got an opportunity to fight for a, 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 another title in his fourth fight, I believe he would have won. I believe this. I believe Terrence Bud Crawford is a big dude. He's a naturally big guy. He should have been fighting at welterweight his entire career. But he could have been the fastest three-division champion in boxing. He would have been 130, 140, and right up to uh right up to uh 130, 135, 140, right up 47. He'd be right now on his fourth division. On his fourth. All of his career would have been at 147, the glory division. All of it. We wouldn't be talking about all that whack ass shit. We'd say he's the fastest three division champion, four division champion in the history of boxing. But he didn't have that path. He didn't have that possibilities because he didn't have the complexion for the protection. Errol Spence, the same thing. The same thing. Both of these guys, the same thing. They didn't have the possibilities. They didn't get that. They didn't get that road for them. They didn't get that at all. And in the inverse, Tank Davis right now, right now, is a master boxer. All right, right now, it's a power punch. He's gifted beyond belief. The man should be at 47. 40, 47, but he wants to be at 35. I got no beef. I got no beef. But if people are moving the man correctly, you should be moving the man with his age and weight because the man is the, the man is has to cut to make weight. It would be so much easier if the cut is less. It's easier on a fighter if the cut is less. And, and Tank is gifted enough and skilled enough to be in these divisions already. Now, bro, I got Tank over, over, uh, over Keith Thurman. I don't care what y'all say. Keith Thurman can't take body shots. He can't. Y'all think Tank is going to lose power moving to 47? Thurman's about to fight Berrios. Tank stopped this man. Already. He can fight at 47. He's good enough for it right now. He's in his prime right now. There's no reason to drag this man along. Release the reins. This man deserves to be in a glory division. Can you imagine Tank versus uh, Bud right now? Savage fight. Tank versus Arrow right now. Tank versus Boots. Tank versus Thurman. I'm just saying. Maybe Tank doesn't want to do that. But I'm just saying. He can, he can do it. He's got the skills to do it. He's got the skills. He's got the power. He's got the all that to do it. Devin at, 45, at, 30, uh, at 40 right now. Devin moving to 47. He can do that. 
Josh Taylor at 44. Release the Kraken, bro. Release the reins. But we got these, we got these fucking promoters who are, oh, no, we're going to guide them along. They're going to take their career to guide their career, bro. And then again, I say this all the time. I will say it again. They compare this age to that age. Oh, this is like the fighters back there. You know, the fighters were scared. They weren't scared to lose an O. They weren't scared and they weren't do this and blah, blah, blah. Well, well, look at who you're putting the fighters in with. Look at the, look at who you're putting them in there with. Like, Devin Haney's got to overpay mandatories to fight him. Mandatories to fight him. Got to overpay them. Give him some of the guys that he's trying to fight. Give Tank some of the guys he's trying to fight. Give Gary Russell some of the guys he's trying to fight. Let these guys, let the ranking stand for something. Stop guiding these motherfuckers along. If you're going to do it for one, do it for all. If you're going to put Lomachenko in there right away, you're going to put him in there. And of course, you put your, your match made it with Orlando Salido, a flat footed fighter. You put him in there against a fleet of foot fighter, and he lost. That's what you did. Right? So, so I, I, I know the game. I know the game. I don't sit here and look at all, all these champions and be like, oh, man, but he's a champion, though, man. But this guy, he's got to be the goods because he's got a belt. Rocky fucking Fielding had a belt. Oh, man, he's got these guys got to be the goods. They've got to be this and they've got to be that, man. I'm telling you right now, they, there's this. No, the fuck, they don't, they don't got to be none of that shit. They don't got to be nothing. All they got to do is be put in a position to fight somebody who the matchmakers, the matchmakers watch the style and say, this guy can't beat this guy. Well, we want to build this guy, and this guy's got a belt right now. So let's take this guy and put him in here right now with this guy. But he, you're not supposed to be in there. You're supposed to be ranked in the top 15 to get this. But they just say, oh, well, we want to build this guy. So we're going to say, this guy is the fastest three-division, four-division champion in the world, and we're just going to take this guy and put him here. Miss me. You're not pulling the wig over my eyes. But that's what old media wants to do. They won't talk about that at all. And then they get that them paychecks, that payola behind the scene, get that little envelope in their, in their mailbox with that couple of stacks in it for them to write these articles instead of saying, how is Vasil Lomachenko, a guy who is 1-0 fighting for a belt, how is this possible? Instead of writing those articles, they say, man, 1-0 Vasil Lomachenko, he's 1-0, he's such a great amateur career, one of the most talented, gifted fighters of our era and generation, is fighting for a belt right away, he's such a megastar, this guy is so great, the speed, the footwork, the combination, the angles, yeah, that's what they do, instead of following the fucking rules, that says that this man wasn't even supposed to be fighting for a belt, at all, it's the path that these fucking promoters make for their fighters, they don't take the long way anymore, they don't fucking fight their way up to get these. Like the old school days that people keep saying, oh man, I wish they think they're old school. I wish we were the old school. Old guys fought everybody. Yeah, because they had no choice. In this day and age, money talks and bullshit walks and they can go ahead and, and, and fucking erase, put an eraser through the maze, right? We're just going to erase this big ass chunk of the maze. You just walk straight forward. We'll cut you, cut the line straight to a belt. So you don't got to fight these guys that are coming up that this guy may be, he may be the goods, but we don't know if he's a goods because we can skip him. He don't, his name, he don't got a name. So we can skip this guy. We can skip this guy and just go straight to the top of the line. But if you fault that guy, he might be an otter box where he can actually fucking fight. Like, damn, this nigga otter box can actually fucking fight. But nobody would have known if Tyson Fury didn't fight the man. And Tyson Fury cherry picked the nigga, but whatever. Whatever about that. But I'm just saying, there's several fighters that are like that. There's probably hundreds of fighters in the world right like that. But they get skipped and bumped. You know, like Crouton Clayton? Don't worry, you'll see a video back about that all by himself. But still, in, in general, these fucking promoters, they fucking put a line through the uh, through the maze. They erase the maze and let, their, let a specific fighter that they're trying to build go straight to the top of the line. Pathetic. So don't tell me to expect fucking champions when they're manufactured. BFTB. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.